So in this lesson, I want to introduce you to the open source software known as Gambit. Gambit is a software available on Windows, Mac, and Linux computers that allows you to model and solve games. So this is what happens when you open Gambit. So sometimes you might have to go to new, extensive, or strategic game. Strategic game is just a normal form game, and that's what I clicked. And we have a very simple two by two game. Player one is red, player two is blue. Here are the actions. Player two's actions are not listed. That is, not, that is a property of Gambit uh, that we can't see player two's actions, but each column represents a different action of player two, just like in the normal form game that we modeled by hand. So let's look how Gambit solves matching pennies. All we need to do is now put in the payoffs. So I'll, player two's strategy can be heads or tails. And we'll assume, I'm sorry, player one's strategy can be heads or tails. And we assume that player one is the guy that wants to match. So these are the payoffs, if you remember from the first set of tutorials. Okay, now we want to ask Gambit to solve this game. So we go to Tools, Equilibrium. For now, we'll just compute one Nash Equilibrium. And I wouldn't worry too much about the method unless your games get really big or you're working in very difficult versions of sequential games. I wouldn't worry about this. We click OK. And hey, Gambit gives us a solution. It says player one picks heads with probability one half and tails with probability one half, while player two does the same. So there we go. Gambit just solved matching pennies for us. And if you look over here, it gives the equilibrium payoffs. In expectation, they both get zero. So what's nice about Gambit is that you can easily change some of the parameters and get different results. So let's just, for example, say that player one got two for matching heads, <coughs> excuse me, and one for matching tails. So this kind of shifts player one's desire to match heads versus matching tails, but it still wants to match. So we just do the same thing again. Tools, equilibrium, compute one Nash equilibrium. Hey, now we see the equilibrium here. Player one still randomizes with probability 0.5 and 0.5, but now player two actually has a weighted, <clears throat> uh, not, not uniform probability says that player two plays tails now with 60% chance and heads with 40% chance. We also see the payoffs has changed. Player one now gets a payoff in expectation of 0.2 and player two gets a payoff still of zero. I highly suggest going downloading Gambit, creating your own normal form games and using Gambit to solve them. I think it's a very useful exercise to change some of the payoffs to see how the equilibrium might change. In the next video, We'll look at using Gambit to solve an extensive form game.